Um, I'm in North Carolina. North Carolina, um, throw your hands up. <laughs> How old are you, queen? I'm 42, but um, I have been here before. Oh, you have an update? No, I don't really have an update. Um, I actually came on here because um, of your platform, and I hope you can allow me to share my story um, because I honestly don't know where else to turn to. <laughs> well, what happened? Um, but no, I was here before and there was a lot of comments that were said and made and very negative. Um, I was basically the one who kind of overshared, I guess, because um, the comment that I made that I said I wanted a, um, I was looking for someone that one was born a man and then two that did not want to get their salad tossed. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it was Girl, that, a, that's, that's lightweight for this show. Yeah. I mean, that's right, because I've seen the show like, since then, it? and people. Real quick, that is that is light to say on this show, right? But, okay, <laughs> right. So she been up here before. Last time she came up, she said she don't want a man who want his gooch ate. She ain't eat no more gooch. She tired of getting hair in her mouth and the smells. She don't like it. Uh huh. Theo, where you at? Nug Nug over here telling this post sister her name Queen too. Save, oh Lord. No, they like get the gooch, queen. Get the gooch. She's like, I'm tired of this. I'm calling Kendra. <laughs> <laughs> um, but like I said, um, right now I'm just I'm experiencing some stuff. Um, I'm in school. Um, so basically, since the last time I was on the show, I actually moved. I got a house. Um, but unfortunately, when I moved, I lost that job, and I ended up having to file bankruptcy. Um, I still have my nonprofit. Um, so and i'm still not collecting any money for it so i'm still like giving away wait i want to stop you like real that. quick not to be i want to be i want to be respectful i want to be respectful are you mm -hmm. looking for love tonight no because like i say i really i'm like i say if you could if i could just be allowed to share because i'm looking for not monetary assistance so um, queen i have to i have to huh. you a lie and the truth ain't in you. So this is right after the toothless Bonquisha just got her bread. She sat back and watched. She said, Kendra, you gave her money. She ain't even down bad. I'm down bad. I got a nonprofit and it ain't making no profits. So I need money, Kendra. Not like money, money, but money, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. She said, I ain't really looking for monetary support you know not monetary but like monetary not mana but monetary you know greenbacks kendra want my cash app <laughs> i have to jump in because that's not yes. what we do here i um, i do i understand i understand yeah, so I, but I, like i, I said i'm just in a desperate situation and I want to be respectful and I'm and I want to yes. be sympathetic to your situation, but I don't want to set that tone. You know, right. there are there are times when we do give out money, but it's not no, I don't know, want it, I don't want money. But hold on, Queen, you have to let me finish. So at the end of the day, you always call because you're looking for love. That's the reason you're on the show. So any other reason outside of that, there's no other there's that's that's not the reason to call unless you're giving an update for something like that. And I don't want to, and I, and I'm very sympathetic for what you're. And she like, stop lying to me, Kendra. You lying to my face. I just watched you give a woman money. And I just seen another woman come up here since she was pregnant and got money. Stop lying to me, Kendra. Just tell me you don't want to give me money. You don't like me, Kendra. This is personal. You don't like me because, because I don't want to eat gooch. I, I'm tired of eating gooch, Kendra, and you don't like me because you like eating ashy foot gooch, Kendra, <laughs> and you mad at me. <laughs> Listen, would you rather be eating gooch in a Honda or eating gooch in a Rolls Royce? <laughs> that is the answer. <laughs> this is sick. I'm going through, but I have to set that tone because if not, then others will follow suit in that manner. But I'm praying for you. Well, like I said, I, I just was hoping maybe need. to get a lawyer referral. Like if some people know some people either, have a large still, problem. Again, that's, that's not, again, yeah. like I things like that happen, but it only happens when people are looking for love first. And 
I, I again. Well, I, don't, I, I, I mean, I am looking for love, but I don't think I'm in a position for that right, right. now because so I'm in queen, school and I'm not working. Queen, I'm gonna pray for you, and I really pray that you know God is abundant. So you don't need me, child. You got the you got the direct connection. Kendra, if God was abundant, you would break your phone out and send me five hundred dollars. Don't tell me about how God is abundant and you ain't sent me nothing. I don't want to hear it. God don't exist right now. Unless if you send me five hundred dollars, Kendra, I get up and start shouting right now. I'll do it. <laughs> Close, Mister X. Close. That's exactly should be her pushback. There you go. Say, Kendra, you right. The Lord is abundant, and he and he blessed you to where your cup overflow. So with the Lord blessing you with overflow, now let your overflow flow into me. That's why you here, Kendra. The Lord put you here, put me on here to call you to beg. And now you give me some of the Lord's abundance, Kendra. Begging. Absolutely begging. And Kendra is being kind. Kendra could have been like, you know, Kendra can get wild. Kendra like, listen, queen, <laughs> I'm trying to be sympathetic. You're down bad. You're looking real ragged and pathetic. And look, Aunt Kendra being kind, but she like, no. And Queen is getting attitude. She like, I understand, but I ain't got no job. I'm I'm ready for love, but why would I get in a relationship? But I ain't got no job. Kendra like, please listen. <laughs> well, not only no job, she says, I got a nonprofit that ain't making no money. She just said, I go to school. She go to school. She got a nonprofit. She got children. This is a nightmare. How is this? There you go. How you win school and running nonprofits, which we are talking about that sick hoodoo. And you up here literally begging, talking about you need uh, connections to attorneys. She up here looking for a pathetic, simping trick ninja. That's what, yeah. Nice net. I'm just looking for some, some legal advice. Team Peterson, where you at? She's just looking for a little advice, you know, do some little pro bono. You know, she'll scratch your back, you scratch hers. <laughs> and y'all wonder why when we had that woman up here earlier tonight and she was looking for a husband, y'all wonder why she's the number one contestant of all time. Look at her competition. Mm hmm Greatest of all time. <laughs> Undefeated. Undisputed. <laughs> to the Lord above that can help you in all ways. Okay. Because I just feel like because I'm in school, I don't I don't feel like I am dateable right now. Um, well, whatever the reason, working. well, when you're dateable, then you call me back. Okay. 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 All right. Um, and I and I have to lay down that law because if not, then our show will become that. And again, there are times when people get blessed. We just saw a lady get blessed tonight, but I don't just that's not why you call. You call for looking for love. That's always the first reason to call this show. Now, again, I'm not quite sure what she's going in life, and I would say a prayer. Saying a prayer is better than money, child, because that's the highest thing you can do for her. You a lie, and the truth ain't in you. Stop the cap. You shut your lying nigga lips up. They out here broken, hungry. She talk about a prayer is the best. They can't eat on that prayer. They can't take that prayer to the electric company or to the to the rent place. I uh, hate respectfully. They just can't. So don't say that. Listen here, man. Last time Bonquisha, last time Bonquisha's landlord came knocking on the door and she started praying. The landlord said, if you're going to start calling out the Lord's name, why don't we go to the bedroom first? Because I don't know why you sit here at the dough. <laughs> All right. Either give me the bread. Or let's hit the bed. You heard what I said. Our <laughs> individual. Um, but I just don't want us to get lost in what this platform does. And if and if we do, then it will it will turn into something completely, completely different. So um, <laughs> um no, nah, no. Nah. And you see Kendra laugh just now. I think somebody put in the chat, you know, you got kudakata and go start an OF. What you mean you need bread? Somebody's in the chat. They was going ham. So, yeah. All that at this point, it is what it is. 
Well, huh? Yeah, they said something like, OF is hiring. What you mean you need a job? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Check it out, I guess. You know, I, I, I love when Bone Quisha, I love when they make the Facebook post. When I start selling pic, feet pictures, don't say nothing. When when women say that online, that means they're going to go OF and ain't going to be not one foot in, this, in the camera <laughs> when they start rolling. <laughs> so this post sister come up here all exasperated. Which is fine. We're gonna kick her down the pit with the other woman. Dang, you came here just to beg to go down the hole. <laughs> That's an L. <laughs> Fuck is you talking about? This is Sparta! You got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away, know when to hide. You gotta count your blessings. You sitting at the table, you hear me? Ooh, tell things to get brighter. Yeah, bye, Felicia. I'll say at this point, art is imitating life. Like Felicia on Friday was a joke. Craig, can I borrow your car? Craig, y'all got some ketchup, some sugar. Walk around looking homeless with the dark spots around her eyes and nappy hair, long t-shirts. These women are coming on Kendra. This is more common than anything nowadays. There we go. Yeah, this this sister, and that's what I was saying. It's dangerous, man, because this sister, she is most likely going to fall victim to some wild, uh, insidious simp dude. And that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, that's easy pickings. She can't tell nobody no. She's in no position to, to resist anybody. So Mr. Insidious Nate come with twos and fuse. He going to come with twos and fuse and be breaking her bike. Something terrible. And she and she in a position where she got to deal with it. And that's, that's bad. It turns out real bad for them sisters. Used and abused. Lost and turned out. Don't know which way is up. That part. So with that being said, make sure y'all hit the like button if you have not yet. 